<laughs> Rage coding. So today we are going to be reviewing some of the commits from GitHub which you might have understood have been written in a not a, not so good state by developers having problem with keyboards, having problem with some functions, <laughs> having problem with Facebook, having problem with Windows, having problem with web development. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and take a look at some of my favorite commits from these. Hmm, so the first commit is from Luxi and he actually made a commit of npm build whereas it should have been npm run build and that <laughs> got him all messed up but i wonder like you know npm run build will also execute the build script if i'm not wrong and npm build automatically does that so i'm not sure if this commit would have actually changed his mood after all <laughs> so yeah i don't know i mean if we take a look at other comments you can see the guy eventually fixed something so he's happy now but you know where we all want to be but this condition does not look right right so yeah but nonetheless it's good to know that he's happy finally hmm so <laughs> hmm second comment with a lot of f's because my man jitafi jefte my woman or man whatever uh okay there's nothing here go away and the repository <laughs> repository's name is also literally garbage so there's that but you can see that the comment has been the 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 work has been just yeah i can understand how that might have created some problem this is just debugging issue and this is the real issue but this is like a lot of text for <laughs> a simple fix no hmm and our repository where we don't like web development at all actually starts with svgs so i can understand <laughs> the feeling right i've never really worked with svgs in a serious mode i know svgs have a lot of stuff to do but i can understand the rage if you have to code some some sort of svg on your own but yeah other than that doesn't look so bad in terms of delta um and i'm not sure if this code is right or you know this one was right because this is the way to actually manipulate dom and this is the wrong way you, you i mean you're just setting the attribute so i don't think that this was the last time kotori code said the statement about web development hmm so <laughs> So this So this is a mumbot. I have no idea what that is. A mumble and IRC hubot pair. Um okay, it looks like a serious project, but for some reason <laughs> the guy <laughs> hates Instagram and Facebook. And you know, if he if the robot hears Instagram, then also Facebook is responsible <laughs> and similarly for facebook and this is a special comment right so you know imagine you're creating a program your robot is working nice and you have everything figured out and you're about to release it to world but you miss out hmm wait a second <laughs> i did not add two commands here the first one i hate instagram and second one is i hate facebook there you go the comment you were looking for let's go <laughs> I can understand this rage. Uh you can clearly see the linter is at fault here and the guy is working with YML YAML files and I hate working with YAML as well. So I can totally understand how the builds would have been failing and you know the workflow files would not be running because of the lint and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I mean thumbs up to the video if you have also faced some issue in the past with linter and i absolutely yaml files i hate them from the bottom of my heart i don't know why they exist i don't know why we couldn't just make 
you know json a little bit programmable or you know a little bit smarter than just basically string keys and string values and numbers but yeah yaml is like an over engineered data structure at this point but all the best to giblin um i hope you were able to sort this out after this comment <laughs> i don't know what the uh what the fix was here but looks like he forgot to pass an argument or something i don't even know what this programming language is dot neil i've never really heard of it ever but <laughs> that fix has resulted in a nice commit message if imagine you are a team member <laughs> member and you're just you know cloning the repo for the first time and you just go ahead and take a look at git log and yep imagine you're a fresh intern or a new employee somewhere in the company <laughs> and the first message which you see in the code base is <laughs> yes finally so the guy figured out something we don't know what it is so let's see what he figured out he's actually in an absolute bliss state right now on cloud 9 so that's super happy to know but I hope I get to write this sort of commit message someday. You know, we are all we all make mistakes, the best of us. But yeah, figuring out and being so happy about them is the ultimate goal of life. That's that's the state which you want to achieve. Looks like he messed up with a cache file, I think. And no, not really. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you if you take a look at <laughs> the common. rage commits you'll see that most of them involved some sort of yaml files so i guess what's the culprit here um yeah but maybe he's missing a run command i don't know that's that's what was work, not working but yeah happy to see it worked for you <laughs> <laughs> so i remember from uh <laughs> my working days with react native and uh, you know android as well um yeah gradle is a mess gradle is a mess a lot of times i mean with at least with react native i mean this was this might not be even related but with react native a lot of times some gradle issue will lead to a build failure in production apk but not in development apk i don't know this was frustrating But yeah, I mean, parentheses, Git, and Gradle. These three guys are, you know, they are. <laughs> they're just absolutely horrible, according to Valongis. So, yeah, I mean, the guy really did struggle for some time, I guess, in finding this bug. But nonetheless, if this worked, I think it's worth it. So, yeah, more power to you, Valongis, Mekel. Covic, whatever. All right, C or C plus plus, whatever. And you know, if you're working with C or C plus plus code, I guess this is these are the sort of comment messages you're gonna find all the way, right? I mean, that's that's understandable when you're working with hardcore C. I mean, this does not look, you know, yeah, it does look pointers are here and all the all the you know pointer stuff. starts when pointer starts and see i get scared that's that's the thing i have learned c myself um in my college as well as independently and i like the language c and c++ but you know like like you would see it's it's too much boilerplate you have to write a lot of code to get things done that's why i don't like that's one of the reasons i don't like working with c or you know just experimenting with it as well But yeah, I mean, there's there's no surprise for this comment message, I guess. You know, this is expected, so nothing here. <laughs> okay, okay, I think the guy is frustrated with Python and basically like everything at this point. And these moments arrive like almost all the time when you are trying to learn code for the first few times. But yeah, yeah, I can understand. There is some. <laughs> I bet this is also some f word in a different language. If you know this language, I don't know what language this is. Let me know. But yeah, looks like he did some uh you know, a lot of changes. Um Yeah, good for you. 
why would you say that i mean <laughs> that's like just you know somebody's just randomly i mean yeah is flags doesn't crash repository because it's read me this files appear on your github profile uh okay so this is actually present in the <laughs> in the read me as well config files for my github profile yeah i mean i don't know what lucas mom did but um let's hope that's that's not messing with his code and deleting his yarn.log or package log.json file because that will be bad hey so <laughs> so you uh have those days you know when whenever you try to start a project whenever you try running a project it always says like something is missing this library is missing that library is missing and that is what happened with shadow 7 9 days ago when he was trying to run a very simple python hello world project but every single dependency was missing so what he did is that he literally just copied pasted every single <laughs> python dependency out there and that's it <laughs> and he understands i mean he's a good developer he understands every dependency will you know just screw up his build times but he's okay with that and the and the fun fact is that his build is actually not <laughs> crash it's, it's actually crashing so that's sad but yeah can't do much about it buddy all right that was a quick episode of reviewing rage commits from people on github if you liked it make sure to leave a like and leave in the comment below what kind of rage commits you do usually if you do and uh, what was the best commit which you saw ever in your git life so yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, like I said, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That is all for this video. I'm going to see you in the next one really soon.